Hey guys, and welcome to episode two of Alphabetically Me, and this, and today's letter is letter B. If you're not familiar with what Alphabetically Me is, it's a series of 26 videos, now 25, of me, uh, me picking out each letter of the alphabet that best describes me. And last week's episode was letter A, and I was describing, well, talking about being adventurous and going to Israel, Sweden, quite possibly Italy. But today's episode is B, and what have I got to talk about for B? Well, I found it a bit of a shock, what I come with anything that started with a B. But then after a while, I thought about the BBC and connections I have with that. So, I've got a few stuff that I want to show you. Um, first, let me talk to you about uh, my BBC stuff. Um, I first had a trip to the BBC in London in 2011. Uh, it was a college trip and we were going to see the main building. HQ. Got long sleeves. <laughs> From what I can remember, we had a tour around the whole building, the old building, not the new one that's moved or teleported to its new location. Um, we looked at a few um, productions being filmed on that day. We watched the um, main news go out live. We had turns to go into the studio and go backstage. Um, it was really cool. The studio, the set that was being filmed on was really, 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 really small. It's so small, it just it was crazy, really crazy. It was really cool to be there. Uh, we got to have our picture taken there. Yeah. Um, if you go to my um, tag video, my recent tag video, like, I'm not sure what it's called, but it was my first one. I, I didn't do that long ago. I think I did it in February. February time. But yeah. It's not hard to find. Uh, 50 facts about me. I think I think it's that. But at some point in that video, I, I post a picture of a, a full image of me and my group with George Alagaya in the BBC News Studio, and it's pretty awesome and pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to remember things that I did there. I saw the TARDIS and I uh, saw a Dalek and after that we went to the BBC store. That's all I can remember, sadly. But I've got a few things. Actually, bag. <laughs> Still got this bag. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of the bag. The bag is like Three years, three to four years old now. I think it's three years old. 2011. <laughs> yeah, that's the bag. Got other little bits and bobs in here. I just noticed while I was going through stuff that I had a BBC pen. I don't know where it got it from. I don't think I bought it. I'm not sure. Depends what the receipt said, but I got a BBC pen. Not sure if it works. It's three years old. Ah. Uh, what else? This is a ticket. We were looking at some sort of sound thing. I can't remember. And now we have food after. 
This is the receipt, BBC, BBC Shop receipt. Uh, BBC Shop TV Centre Audience Foyer, Wood Lane, London, W12R7RJ. Uh, I got a Top Gear t shirt. I don't know where that Top Gear t shirt is. It says, I am the Stig across my chest. It disappeared somewhere. And BBC Mug White. I got that somewhere. It's in the cupboard. Should get that in the sec. Should get that now. Bear with me. I am back and with the mug. Yep. Proper China mug. And there's a, a black one and I wish I really got the black one as well. I'm not sure how much money I had at the time. It did... Oh, five pound. I didn't have probably much money on me at the time. But yeah. Still worship and cherish this mug. I really love it so much. Uh, I always have my tea in it sometimes. But at the minute it's right at the back of the cupboard. To be broken, because if it broke, I'll be heartbroken. I love it so much. It's the love of my life, that mug. <laughs> it brings back so many memories. <laughs> and part of those memories have got lost. Uh, TVC, my ticket! Oh. Please arrive five minutes prior your time. Student group, £6.75. Huh? And it started at half past three. Yeah. About it, really. Ticket. <laughs> I've seen tickets. I've seen tours. Pretty cool. Yeah. London Underground ticket. Different to a train ticket. Ground. And really, it says I should have took this back. <laughs> I didn't know at the time. So it says at the back. Uh, Please read carefully. All visitors are subject to comp company health and safety regulations. Fire emergencies on the Hearing to the continuous sounding of the fire alarm, leave the building immediately using the nearest fire exit and proceed to the assembly point outside the building. Do not use lifts. Smoking. Please ab abide the company rules on smoking. Car parking. All vehicles received at the owner's risks and should not be parked so as to cause an obstruction. Please return this badge to reception and book out before leaving the building. I did book out, but I forgot about this. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a lovely memento. Five o'clock. I don't know. Why were five o'clock when we were there at half past three? I don't know. We're visiting Barry Thomas, which is amazing because we, we did a interview with a chap called Stuart Thomas. If you remember my Long vlog I did. <laughs> yeah. Girl be it's cool cool cool. What else now? I don't think I have anything else. I don't know what that is. Paper that is. Oh wait, it's the time tail. Hmm. Yeah, it says Hugh Edwards and George Alagaya. Flick o'clock news, BBC One. Ah. where the look came out from. I think that is it for I need to show you. 
pen. I don't know where to put the pen. But yeah, that's it. My souvenirs from the BBC. If I knew where my stick t-shirt was, I will show you. If I knew where my stick poster was, I brought a stick poster as well. I don't know where that is either. Probably curled up somewhere behind the cupboard. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'm not sure if it was quick or short. Oh, quick or short. I mean the same thing. Long or short. I'm not sure. Um, but either way, I hope it's enjoyable, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Whatever uh, thing I'll come up with, see, I don't know. I just managed to come up with A and B. <laughs> so, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. War.